It's locked.
Yes? I don't want to pester you, Mr. Egan, but <clears throat> the radiator... Thanks for dealing with the circuit breaker. Okay, we're really making progress here, kid. So, you go up to Hotchkiss's room and see what she wants for dinner. She's not answering her phone. No problem, boss. It's locked. Ugh! Virginia Woolf never endured such interruptions! Who is it? It's Nancy again. Dexter needs to know what you want for dinner. Oh, hard to think of food candy when I'm riding the raging rapids of my theory. Oh, right now, I have plenty of pre-packaged energy globules to keep me going. But tell Baxter that I am developing a Powerful craving for couscous. Yes, couscous for dinner would be splendid. I'll have a nice tip for you next time, Fanny. Yes? The professor says she has a hankering for, um, couscous. Couscous? Never heard of it. Tell her to order something off the menu. Okay. See you, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. Is that my couscous already? Sorry, Professor, but there's no couscous in the house. You'll need to choose something from the hotel menu. Well, I don't have a menu. At least not from this hotel. Oh, oh be a doll and, and fetch me one, will you? Ta-ta! Uh, did you get the menu? Sure did. How about opening the door so I can give it to you? Oh, you're a sneaky one. Just slip it under the door, please. Nice and easy. No funny stuff. Uh, who? Oh, baby back ribs, yes. Oh, chili cheese dog. Uh, a fried bologna sandwich. Uh, I'm not usually much of a meat eater, but uh, very well. Fifty drumsticks, please. Chicken, that is. Cluck, cluck. Sure. Fifty drumsticks. Whatever makes you happy. Rock and roll, dear. Can I help you? The professor has changed her order. Seems she's developed an appetite for chicken drumsticks. Fifty of them. Okay then. Drumsticks we got. Oops. 
but I guess Jock better take that bag of chicken legs out of the freezer. Will you tell him? And then take the rest of the day off, kid. Your radiator's as good as fixed. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. Ah, Nancy, como se va? Dexter needs you to defrost that big bag of chicken legs. Oh, la la la, what does he think I am? A sous chef? Dexter told me the combination to my locker, number 310, is 517. I tried it, but the locker won't open. Hmm, Dexter must be confused, because I think that is the combination for number 311. I'll try 311. Tell me about these boxes you're making. When I am not skiing, I need some other way to express myself. So voila! I make these hot boxes, for keeping secrets safe. I'm sure you have many secrets, Nancy. Lisa told me you were in the Olympics. What was that like? Disappointing. Frustrating. Humiliating. Oh, what happened? It was the worst day of my life. To fall flat on my face with my family, my country, and the rest of the world watching. Do you know much about the tower that's closed off? I heard the original owner imported it from France. It comes from the Chateau Rochemont in a town in France near where I grew up. And Marie Antoinette used to visit this tower when she was Queen of France. Until she lost her head in the revolution, that is. I'll talk to you later. A bientôt!
Did you see I fix your radiator? Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. There, how's it going? So, tell me more about the life of a photojournalist. It must be very glamorous at times. Well, there's nothing glamorous about the pay, I can tell you that much. There was a little mix-up with the lockers, and I accidentally opened yours. Yeah, and? Well, I was kind of confused. I was just trying to see whose stuff was in there. And I found a bunch of IDs in your bag. They all had your picture and other people's names on them. A savvy photojournalist always carries a couple of alternate identities, Nancy. When you're working under deadline, you don't always have time to play by the rules. I'm sure you know what I mean. Does your job take you to exotic, far-off places? Well, there is a lot of travel. Too bad I'm so useless with foreign languages. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. It's locked. Can I help you? Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. Is that you, Brandy? 
Oh, I'm glad you're here. At the moment, my theory is rising like a magnificent souffle. I need to collect a few more ingredients, if you will, but it's a delicate situation. If I leave my room even for a moment, I fear the souffle will come crashing down in a heap. You're cooking a souffle in there? Oh, don't take me too literally, dear. What I need is some information about the castle. Hard numbers. I've come to the conclusion that you are an enterprising and faithful soul. Therefore, I have decided to entrust you with this important mission. Who knows? If you succeed, I might whisk you away from the hotel business to be my personal research assistant. Well, Professor Hodgkiss, I'm not actually in the hotel business, but I'd love to help. Marvelous! Here's what I need to know. On what date was the Bastille prison destroyed during the French Revolution? I'll be very eager to hear what you come up with, but please, don't disturb me unless you have the answer. 